Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And on the menu is live Bundesliga action coming right up. It's Salzburg versus Vodaga Arce. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, so many positives where the hosts are concerned, and one positive, Stuart, is a watertight defence. Well, they press the ball at the right times and then drop off at the right times too, which is key to any good defensive structure. Their tactical understanding is absolutely brilliant, which is why they've conceded so few goals. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, the two central midfield players need to have a different skill set. The holding midfield player has to be good defensively, whereas the player at the top of the diamond has to be expansive with his passing and be the team's creative spark. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, it's the same shape, so I'm expecting a really tight game early on. But I think the side that is more expansive within their formation will just hold the advantage here. And so the battle commences. Okafor. Crossing opportunity. Mohamed Kamara. Good looking ball. Keeping it moving dynamically. Could be dangerous. And the danger is averted. Lindel. Struggling to keep the ball. How about the cross? This looks promising. Teammate and support. Camara. He's got the right idea with that pass. And still a chance. And a goal! Now they have their opener. And now they can celebrate. Well, here's the replay, and you just have to admire the patience of the passing as they look for that defence-splitting ball. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. Lindel. Well, it's one pass after another. It needs an accurate cross. An authoritative challenge. Ulmer. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. And that's an important intervention. Making progress. Takes aim. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out the danger.
Can someone get on the end of this? And that wasn't a bad header at all. Couldn't quite get over the ball. Moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. It looks promising. Options in the centre. And out for a throw in, just misfiring with the pass. Camara. And offside, well, close one. Mario Leitgeb. Well read to put an end to that attack. So almost at half-time and they are making good use of home advantage. Still a bit of work to do though. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Really good interception. Karim Adeyemi. Will it happen for them? Oh, he's really opened them up here. On the pass in behind the defence. Quick thinking from the keeper. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. So the half-time whistle is sounded, and it's so far so good for the hosts. Well, we discussed it before the game. They are a brilliant team defensively. Their decision-making about when to press and when to delay the opposition has been spot on. I just can't see them conceding today. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. It comes to nothing in the end. They've given it away. Ulmer, promising attack this. He got nothing but ball, he's conceded the corner. And there's the delivery. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Karim Adeyemi. Crossing opportunity. Can he put it away? That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. So, making the substitution now.
Over it comes. Well, that's a moment he would like to have back if possible. Thorsten Röcher and well, he keeps going but nothing comes of it good defending it was Okafor unable to keep the ball that time Christensen Zlatko Yunuzovic has it oh managing to beat him well danger averted thanks to his teammate not giving him a moment's peace couldn't hang on to it could be threatening Just cutting off the supply. Can they hit on the break? This looks promising. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? And the counter-attack came to nothing. Well, shortly we'll hear the final whistle. The home side with the lead. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, it's been a tight game, but I think they've been the better team. They've just had that little bit more quality, certainly in attack, and of course they've been well organised at the back. They just need to see this through now. Well, it's a great advantage to any side when you're as comfortable on the ball as they are. And a throw-in it's going to be. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. <laughs> Could be troublesome. And delivered into the box. Well, not cleared away completely. And in the end, no damage done. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Oh, lovely, incisive pass. A goal! That's two for him today! They simply can't stop him! No wonder he's celebrating! Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. While the movement in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. What a goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. A sloppy pass. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. Adeyemi. Kamara. Now a good tackle. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, they've been great defensively, as we know, but it was all about their front players today. Their movement, awareness of space and speed of thought was just too much for their opponents. They could have won this by a lot more.